Well, this weekend marks 55 years since the historic Apollo 11 moon landing. The small step for man and giant leap for mankind began on July 16, 1969. That's when the Apollo 11 spacecraft launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, carrying Neil Armstrong, Michael Collins, and Buzz Aldrin. They traveled through space for three days, reaching the moon on July 20th. An estimated 650 million people watched live on television as Armstrong became the first person to touch the moon. The astronaut successfully returned to Earth four days later and inspire us still. Retired NASA astronaut Leroy Chow joins us. He has flown on three space shuttle flights and served as the commander of Expedition 10 aboard the International Space Station. It is so great to have you here with us. Talk to us about how the moon landing actually shaped your own interest in space. Sure, I remember like it was yesterday. I was an eight-year-old kid uh, almost 55 years ago watching the uh, moon landing live on an old black and white TV set, watching that grainy picture with the rabbit ear antennas of the Mission Control Center as the scene unfolded and listening to the transmissions coming back from the moon as Eagle approached the surface and then actually touched down. And I remember going out later and looking up at the moon and realizing that up there almost a quarter of a million miles away, these two astronauts were getting ready to take those first steps. And I thought, you know what? I want to be like those guys. And that's when the dream started for me to wanting to try to become an astronaut myself. I mean, so many people think they want to be like those guys. You've actually made that your life's mission. Um, what were some of the broader cultural impacts of the moon landing and the space race? The U.S. actually beat the USSR to the moon. This was historic. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I remember at the time, even as a little kid, I could feel the tension. I knew that this was, you know, basically it had been framed as uh, um, a cold war of good against evil, right? And that was a little bit a little bit harsh, but uh, that was the feeling of the day. Uh, the, the Apollo 11 landing, I believe, is still the number one uh, biggest watched live event by the most people in the world ever so far. And, you know, like I said, I think most of us that watched it live can remember like it was yesterday. And the excitement uh, of, you know, actually beating the Russians to the moon, uh, you know, and, it, and what's interesting is many, many years later when I was an astronaut training in Star City in Russia, uh, mm. there were still some people there that had worked on their moon program. And they told us, you know what, we the technical people, when you landed on the moon, we were happy for humanity. We raised a glass and, and toasted you. And it was wonderful. So, uh, you know, that kind of shows you the kind of people that worked on the program on both sides. Well, and 55 years, honestly, is not that long. But when we think about how much technology has changed in that time period and we're looking ahead to the future of space travel, where do you see us going? And especially what have what are we still processing from that historic 1969 mission? <sighs> Well, sure. I mean, you know, a lot of time has passed. Technology has changed quite a bit. Uh, NASA, frankly, you know, back then was a lean and mean uh, organization, able to move quickly. I mean, we got from zero, absolutely zero, no astronauts, no rockets, no spacecraft, to landing humans on the moon in just around 11 years, just under 11 years. It's pretty incredible. So the technology's better now. Uh, we've got more capability, but we haven't landed on the moon since 1972. So we've got to relearn how to do that. Uh, NASA, I believe, is doing it the right way in partnership with commercial uh, entities like SpaceX. I think that'll get us there quicker, uh, more quickly. It's got, you know, we're, we're leveraging uh, technology that can move quickly. And so um, hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll see a return to the lunar surface by astronauts. And of course, we're all looking forward to that Mars mission. Absolutely. Leroy Chow, thank you. And thanks to your pupnik, who is also weighing in back there. <laughs> yeah, you bet. Thank you. <laughs>